Hi everyone, welcome to JS Cafe. And in today's video, we are going to solve a very interesting problem that is create polyfill of array dot filter. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So um, I am assuming uh, that you are well aware of how array dot filter works. If not, then I'll suggest you to go to uh, docs and check how array dot filter works and you must also know what are the various types of parameters that the callback function receives okay once you are done with that uh, come back to this video and let's resume the coding so to create uh, the polyfill of array dot filter what i'll do is first of all the prototype of the array i'll create a filter function which i'll just overwrite whatever is the, the array right create a function that would receive a callback function okay and this in this callback function since you know that we'll be using this um filter property after an array what i mean by that is for, for example if we have one comma two comma three four comma five six then we'll use filter uh just after the particular array right so when you are calling this particular filter function then the this this keyword would point to this particular array right i have already talked about how this keyword works uh, in javascript and if you haven't checked out the video then it's in the playlist of uh, object oriented oops under the hood in javascript and in that particular playlist there's the one video with title uh, how this keyword works in javascript then if you are not fam familiar uh, with the this keyword then i'll suggest you to do check out that particular video first and then resume uh, this part fine so uh, this uh, this keyword in this filter uh, function that we are creating will point to this particular array right so what i'll do is first of all i'll do um i'll first of all create an output array this would store uh, all our values that passes the filter okay and the next thing what i know i want to do is that this dot for each okay so array dot for each basically and in this for each i'll be getting the element i'm getting the index okay and what i need to do now is that if our callback function returns true if i pass the element the index and the array which is in the this keyword if this returns out to be two then this particular ar array this particular element passes the filter condition and i need to put that into the output uh, array okay output dot push and element and this is it and at the very end i just need to uh, return the output array pretty simple right so if i do um console dot log right and so in this i'll receive the callback with the array element and i need to do is that if it is an even number right so two uh first right first two zero see what it returns uh note filter polyfill.js 2 4 and 6 perfect see 2 4 and 6 passed our filter condition these are even numbers and they have been returned over here right so if i just just for the sake of testing if i reverse the condition right see 1 3 and 5 <laughs> so just to make sure that our filter uh, is properly working over here so the moment i reversed everything in the if condition then the 1 3 and 5 the odd numbers got printed out and if we uh, just use the uh, truth value and so the 2 4 and 6 are printed out because they were the even numbers so this was a pretty simple question and this was the code for creating a polyfill of array dot filter and do check out the mdn docs before uh, uh, like finishing this video you, just, you must be well aware of what the syntax of array dot filter is 
fine and so this was all in this video uh, do mention your doubts in the comments i'll try to resolve them and do like this video and share this video with your friends if you find the content be helpful so this was all in this video uh, see you in the next one